Yeah, g'day guys, welcome to another episode of Shanky Garage. My name is Sam. So today's episode, we're gonna be removing the plenum section from the cabin and then repairing what looks to be a bit of a dog's breakfast from underneath. So yeah, we'll jump straight into the video and hope you enjoy. Okay, so today we're going to get cracking into removing the plenum section and then repairing some various rust repairs underneath. So basically, yeah, underneath this plenum, you can see all this here is rusted, so that'll need repairing once I get the plenum removed and it's actually worse on the other side. Um, so we've got some rust up here, this lip's gone, um, and also this upper door hinge has basically cracked along here and rusted, so this will need cutting out and basically replacing as well. So yeah, the first step, I guess, will be starting to grind, you know, all around here and just seeing where all the spot welds are and then I'll start basically drilling out all the spot welds. So pretty sure the most majority of them are all just along here. And then I think there is possibly some in this steering column section. So this, this piece here that basically um, spot welded onto, onto there. So yeah, I'll get the grinder out, start grinding the way and um, go from there. Okay, so I've just started up here and I've just been working my way along here. I'm sort of up to this mark here. So this section's actually a bit of a bitch because you just got so many spot welds and they're so close together. So you can just see here that there's, you know, there's four spot welds there that are literally, you know, within 10 millimeters of each other. So um, yeah, anyway, I've just been using like this spot weld drill bit so it's you know flat and it's got kind of like a you know like a little point um so it drills nice and flat so which is starting to get pretty blunt this thing so i've also just been using this deburrer tool as well on the die grinder so just a combination of of them two and i've been you know just slowly working my way through them so I'll just keep going and hopefully this thing should nearly be out as well. Okay, so I've just got this plenum ready to come out so all the spot welds are either drilled or I've just die grinded them out. So yeah, I've sort of butchered this plenum but it's all good because I won't be reusing it, obviously. Um, so just for reference, there is, um, you know, apart from all the spot welds all along here and up here, you've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 spot welds, which basically hold the plenum to this um, steering column support. And then there's also, look in, look in there, there's three spot welds there. And then on the other side, there's three spot welds there. So. Okay, so just forgot to mention as well that there's six spot welds where the windscreen wiper motor goes as well. Okay, so the parts from Resto Country have arrived. So I've just got the plenum section here. So that looks all pretty good. And then I've just got the cow section, but unfortunately I've just put it on and realized I've actually ordered the wrong one. So this version here is to suit HQ all models. So I didn't actually realize I only had like two types on the website and I ordered the, the HQ one because it said the WB one was WB only. So I thought this one was gonna be the right one, but unfortunately, yeah, that one only suits HQ as well, but I couldn't actually find a, you know, HJ to HX version on the Resto Country website. So I'm gonna have to give them a call and see if I can, yeah, either return this or swap it. Um, but yeah, so that's a bit of an inconvenience, but it's all good because at least I'll be able to still do this uh, plenum section and get the you know all the repairs done with the plenums. Okay, so just got this plenum section sitting in. Actually lines up pretty well so far. But yeah, that's gonna give me a good sort of a baseline to work off to try and figure out how to, to sort of repair all this and the other side as well. Okay, so I think what I'll do is I'll start with this side repairing this side looks a lot easier than the other so i'll probably start by cutting this piece out 
getting rid of that. This strip here is all gone, so I'll see. I'll probably just cut that piece out and try and try and weld a new a new sort of strip in there, and then the same probably on this side as well. And then that'll be sort of the base done, and then I can make up a, a piece to then sit over the top. Right, so they're welded in now. So there's a section welded in there, section welded in there, and I've just cut out a section there and welded that in there. So yeah, nice, good solid base now to make this plate that goes over the top. Okay, so I've just coated that with the zinc primer. I've sprayed it in here also. There was a little bit of rust in this section here. It had popped through, and then there was some surface rust on the inside and it was getting really thin. So I've just cut out this section here and welded like a rectangle piece in there. So it was a pretty basic sort of repair, so I didn't really bother filming that one. So now I'm up to the point of making a plate to go over this section. So what I've done, I've just got a bit of cardboard, put it on there and then just sort of gone around the edges of there and it's kind of made a bit of like a template and you can kind of bend it into, into place to to kind of make that template. So I'll cut that out, of, out with some scissors and then I'll trace it onto a bit of steel and I can yeah, bend, bend up the steel from there. Okay, so I've just made up this plate. So I just used the cardboard template and traced around that onto the steel and then I've just cut it out with an angle grinder and a cutoff wheel. I've also just clamped this into this, this section here and then what I was able to do was then just use the car to kind of use that as a mold and, and sort of tap it into place and then tap it around here like that and then I was able to get that into the shape I needed so that actually yeah worked out worked out pretty good okay so that piece is all bent up and ready to weld in just need to drill some holes in here for the spot welds and then weld it in so I just have also just put a 90 degree bend on there so I just used the vise and just yeah bent it using the vise and then also a 45 degree here and then I've just cut out this section here and that's where this plenum here sits into. So I should be still be able to just adjust this if I need to adjust this angle if need be. So once I do put the final cowl on so the cowl rests along here, I will be able to, you know, change that angle if need be. Okay, so all the holes are drilled. So that's 5.5 millimeter drill bit just used a clamp to clamp that in and also on the back side of this plate I've just used the zinc primer because once you weld that in you won't be able to paint it. Okay, so this side is all finished. So pretty stoked with how that's come out. So now I'll go on to the other side, which is gonna be a hell of a lot harder just because I'm gonna have to replace all this section. All this is gonna need repairing as well up here. So yeah, I guess I'll start just doing the same thing. I'll just take this piece out. Okay, so that is being cut out. So this section here is still good, so I won't need to do anything there. So that's, uh, that's a good thing. Also, this piece here continues up, like, and it's pretty good steel here, so that's gonna give me a good reference mark as well. So I'll be able to cut 
along there and then down here to replace all this section and then I'll be able to just yeah use this as the reference and made it back up to here with this lip also this section here is going to be needing to be cut out and new piece welded in here um, and it is dual skin so I'm gonna have to replace the bottom section first and then replace the top section so what I have done is I've just welded this piece into here as a reference so because I'm gonna cut out this piece here then I'm gonna lose this this point here so basically I've welded that in so I can align it all back to here so that's cut out and I've just made up this little section here so that'll basically weld into there and then I can then make another piece that will go over the top there okay so that is all welded in still need to grind that back but I've just made up this little piece here so that'll just sit in there like so and I've just drilled some holes in there for the spot welds as well so yeah I can weld that in I've also just yeah used the primer the zinc primer on both sides there so yeah she's um fits in there pretty good so she's all welded in and grinded back so both sides there so yeah pretty happy with how that's turned out so the next job will be to basically cut this piece out so what i'll do is i might follow this line around here and then across here and then up up along here but I want to leave you know a part of that lip here just so I can basically join yeah there to, to there so yeah I'll start cutting that out so that piece is cut out I've just cleaned it up and I've just found that there's a few little cracks like here here and along here so what I'll do I don't really want to replace this piece so I've just sort of gouged out the cracks a little bit with an angle grinder and what I'll do is I'll weld them cracks and then grind it all flat again and then yeah that shouldn't be too bad. Okay so I've just made this template out of cardboard so what I've done was just get a piece of cardboard and put it over there and then just run your finger around the edge of the steel onto the cardboard and it leaves like a bit of an imprint on the cardboard and then you can just cut that piece of cardboard out sit it in and then also what you can do is just where the bolt holes are you can kind of push push in there and then that gives you like an indent of basically you know where the where you need to cut out the bolt holes as well okay so this piece is all made up i've just put the three holes in there for the door hinge i just drilled some holes and then used a die grinder to get that square shape also just drilled some holes for some spot welds and you can also see that there's a slight bend in this piece so i just put a little slot in there to be able to bend the two 90 degrees so i've just also put some zinc primer on the back side of it so it fits in there yeah nice and snug so i'll weld that piece in so that's all completed i've just put some primer over the top so yeah pretty happy with how all that's turned out so I just need to make this piece the same as the other side and then the plenum can finally go on the top. Okay, so this side's now completed as well. So pretty happy with how that's turned out. I thought I'd just leave this piece a little bit longer. I can always trim that back later on. But reason being is I thought I'd just leave a bit of meat there so when the cow does arrive, I can fit that. And then if I need to adjust the angle or the height, I've got plenty of meat to work with there. So yeah, here's all the, the shit steel that's come out of it. So yeah, plenty of little patches. So yeah, it was a very intricate job doing both them sides. Just yeah, little little patches and yeah. But once you, you know, do one, one patch at a time, it's sort of all, all come together. So pretty stoked with how they've turned out. So I can now fit this plenum. It slides, should slide in. Yep, she just sits in pretty snug. So yeah, both sides all lines up. So yeah, really happy with, with that. So I'm not gonna weld this in yet because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna smooth out all this firewall and then I'm gonna basically uh, grind all the inside out and paint all the inside KBS it and then also yeah, do all the firewall. So reason being is just with this plenum removed, it's just a hell of a lot easier, good access to, to get in to do that. 
So I can always weld that in later on anyway, which won't be a big job. So, so yeah, that's pretty much, pretty much all done. Plenum section. Okay, so that's it for today's video, guys. So I hope you got something out of that. It was only the other day when I hit the 100 subscribers mark and now I'm nearly coming up to 400. So yeah, I feel like the channel is definitely picking up some momentum and I appreciate the support so far. It does take a while to film these videos, edit and put them up on YouTube. So yeah, if you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button below and that's yeah, gonna help me to grow the channel. So yeah, next video we're gonna basically yeah, fill in this firewall, smooth it all out and paint the inside of the cab. So yeah, watch out for that one. And yeah, we'll leave with that. So thanks for watching, cheers.